Hello everyone, this is your teacher Noe. In this video, I'll be discussing the second type of chemical reaction, which is the decomposition reaction. After this video lesson, you are expected to write and balance chemical equations. Another type of chemical reaction is decomposition reaction which is also called as analysis reactions. This type of reaction is the reverse of combination reaction. Here, the process involves only one reactant dissociating into two or more products. The products may be the constituent elements of the reactant or simpler compounds derived from the reactant. Usually, the composition reaction requires energy input. The general equation for this type of reaction is AB, when heated or heat energy is applied, it will dissociate into A plus B. There are several types of decomposition reaction, like the binary. Binary compounds are compounds containing two different elements. For example, when heat energy is applied to solid aluminum chloride, it will dissociate into aluminum plus chlorine. By inspection, we can see that chlorine has three atoms on the reactant side while we only have two atoms of chlorine on the product side. To balance chlorine, we think of the least common multiple, and that is 6. So we just simply put coefficient of 3 before the chemical symbol of chlorine and coefficient of 2 before the chemical formula of aluminum chloride, making chlorine having 6 atoms both on the reactant and product side. That is, 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6 and 3 multiplied by 2 is also equal to 6. Finally, Adjust the coefficient of aluminum on the product side by placing coefficient of 2. Making aluminum with two atoms bought on the reactant and product side. And making the equation balance. Another type of decomposition reaction is the decomposition of metal chlorate. When heat energy is applied to metal chlorate, it will dissociate into metal chloride plus oxygen. Remember that chlorate is a polyatomic ion having only one charge, which is negative one. For example, when heat energy is applied to potassium chlorate, it will dissociate into metal chloride, which is in this case, the solid potassium chloride plus oxygen gas. To balance the equation, let's start by balancing number of atoms of oxygen by placing coefficient of 2 on the reactant side and coefficient of 3 on the product side, making a total of 6 atoms of oxygen both on the reactant and product side. Finally, place coefficient of 2 before the chemical formula potassium chloride to balance potassium and chlorine with 2 atoms each on the reactant and product side respectively. The third type of decomposition reaction is the decomposition of metallic carbonate. When heat energy is applied to metallic carbonate, it will dissociate into metal oxide plus carbon dioxide. Remember that carbonate is a polyatomic ion having only one charge which is negative 2. For example, when heat energy is applied to barium carbonate, it will dissociate into barium oxide which is the metal oxide plus carbon dioxide. Through inspection, we can say that the equation is balanced by itself. The fourth type of decomposition reaction is the decomposition of non-metallic carbonate. When heat energy is applied to non-metallic carbonate, it will dissociate into non-metal oxide plus water plus non-metallic compound. For example, when heat energy is applied to ammonium carbonate, it will dissociate into 
carbon dioxide, which is the non-metallic oxide, plus water, plus ammonia, which is the non-metallic compound. To balance the equation, we just simply place coefficient of 2 before the chemical formula of ammonia. The fifth type of the decomposition reaction is the decomposition of metallic bicarbonate. When heat energy is applied to metallic bicarbonate, it will dissociate into metal oxide plus water plus carbon dioxide. For example, when heat energy is applied to sodium bicarbonate, it will dissociate into sodium oxide, which is the metal oxide plus water plus carbon dioxide. To balance the equation, we just simply place coefficient of 2 before the chemical formula of sodium bicarbonate and another coefficient of 2 before the chemical formula of carbon dioxide, giving you 2 atoms of sodium, 2 atoms of hydrogen, 2 atoms of carbon, and 6 atoms of oxygen both on the reactant and product side. The sixth type of decomposition reaction is the decomposition of metal hydroxide. When heat energy is applied to metal hydroxide, it will dissociate into metal oxide plus water. For example, when heat energy is applied to calcium hydroxide, it will dissociate into calcium oxide, which is the metal oxide plus water. Through inspection, we can say that the equation is balanced by itself. Note that not all equation involving dissociation of metal hydroxide will lead to balancing by itself. The last type of decomposition reaction is the decomposition of some acids. When heat energy is applied to some acids, it will dissociate into water plus non-metallic compound. For example, when heat energy is applied to Carbonic acid, it will dissociate into water plus carbon dioxide, which is the nonmetallic compound. Through inspection, we can say that the equation is balanced by itself. It's time to do your task. Just give the product and balance the equation. Good luck! Thank you for reaching this far. Till next time, goodbye everyone!